In this video, we're gonna go over an example of switching or upgrading or downgrading with WooCommerce subscriptions. Now, I got this question on my YouTube channel about how to upgrade or downgrade a subscription and have them pay the full product price so not use you know prorating with WooCommerce subscriptions. So how do we do this? How do we set this up? Well, let's jump into it. But first, if you get value out of this video, make sure you give me a like, thumbs up, and all the links we found in the description box below. Okay, let's jump into it. So his Zeus has three products. He has the free product, he has product A, which costs 200, product B that costs 400. And when a subscriber purchases product A for 200, he wants them when they upgrade to product B for 400 to pay 400, not pay the pro rate of that product. So how do we set this up? Well, I'm just gonna go through an example of how I would do it. And I'm just gonna go to this Charlie's Coffee site and you know, the site's branding based on his use case may not be the same, but because it's all WooCommerce subscriptions, it's going to work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new product. And I'm just gonna call this, you know, sample product. And I'm just gonna make this uncategorized. And I'm gonna go to variable subscription. And I'm gonna make it, you know, not taxable just because this is a test. And then I'm gonna go to attributes and I'm going to add an attributes called type and then just do A, B, or sorry, free, A, B. Awesome, so we have that. And then I'm gonna go to variations and I'm gonna create variations from all attributes. Awesome, so we have this and I'm gonna make them all virtual and the free one's gonna be virtual. And then product A, this is gonna be for $200 every month. And then product B is going to be for $400 every month. And then with that, what I'm also going to do is I'm also gonna add a sign up fee for 400 and a free trial for one month to product B. And I'm also gonna apply this to product A. So if you're confused about why it's, I'm using this free trial when it doesn't really make sense in this use case, you guys will see later on. So I'm just gonna add the free trial. So $200, one month free trial. $200 subscription price. Awesome, so they both have free trials, the ones that cost money, and I'm gonna click save changes. Awesome, I'm gonna make sure this one is $0 as well for the free one. Nice, so I'm gonna publish this sample product. And if I look at the sample product right here, and let's say I do like product A, I can see that it shows this text as $200 a month with one month free trial and a $200 sign up fee. So if I want this to be prettier, just showing on my product page, I can real quick just activate the free custom price drain plugin with WooCommerce subscription. So I'm gonna come down here and I'll put this link in the description box below, but I'm just gonna activate this. And if I come back to this variations, I'm just gonna update this custom price drain right here to you know $200 a month. So let's do something like that. And I'm also gonna do this with um, this custom price drain right here. Awesome, I'm gonna click update. So if I refresh this sample product now, it's gonna say, um, and I go back to A, it's gonna say $200 a month. So let's say I buy this sample product, it's gonna cost a total of $200. Now I'm hiding the recurring totals by using a snippet right here, but let's say I wanna reshow those where um, I can re-show this and have this show up, right? And I'll put that snippet or link to it of how I did this in the description box below as well. But if I have this, you know, someone's paying $200 a month and their next renewal is gonna be on April 7th. So let's proceed to checkout. And I am just going to um, use this payment method I have on my account. This is a test site, but it costs $200 for product a, which he said in his example. Awesome, so I've ordered product A and now I want the option when I switch, so I can see right here, um, I want this option so when I switch, it costs $400 to upgrade to product B. So let's go back to our WooCommerce subscription settings real quick. And let's go click the subscriptions tab. So WooCommerce settings, subscriptions. 
Now let's come down here and let's allow switching. I'm just gonna click all of these. And what we wanna do is we don't wanna prorate the recurring payment and we want to charge the full signup fee. Awesome. And I'm just gonna come down here and I'm gonna click save changes. So now that we've allowed switching, what we can do is we can go back to our account. And if I refresh my account page, I have this option to switch the subscription. So now if I click the subs or switch subscription button right here, I can come back and if I switch to um, product B, which is $400 a month with a $400 signup fee and a one month free trial, well, we're hiding that using the custom price stream plugin, just the text. So I go to subscriptions, right? And I click into this subscription and I click switch subscription and I'm just gonna switch this to B. Awesome, so I already had another product in my cart before this tutorial, so that's why that happened. But now I can see that today it's gonna cost $400, right, just to switch to that. It's gonna charge the full signup fee amount, and then a month from now, it's gonna charge that full $100 a month. Um, again, so we're, if you switch, you're gonna, you're gonna pay that $400 the same as that product price, and then it's gonna renew a month from now. Awesome, now I can proceed to the checkout and boom, I can use the same payment method. And you guys can see all right here, you know, $400 today. And um, we're gonna have, you know, it's $400 a month. And then I'm gonna click switch subscription. So I was able to do this. Now, a few other things, if you guys um, are looking at this, something else that we could do is, you know, if you come down this custom price drain, if I didn't have this plugin enabled, Right, I could just update this to four hundred dollars or four hundred, whatever we wanted it to be. Um, you know, just two hundred, whatever we wanted that to be. And if I just do another example real quick, if I update this, and let's say I do, you know, let's say I get a subscription for product A again. Let's say, so we're gonna pay two hundred. And I'm paying $200 today, and then in a month from now, I'm paying $200. And I'm gonna place this order. Awesome, and I'm gonna go back to my account page, and I'm gonna click my subscriptions. And now I can click into this subscription again, and I can click this switch button, or switch subscription button, and switch to this B one, right? And you can see I'm paying a price of $400 to upgrade to it. And then in 30 days, it's gonna renew for $400 or a month from now. So that's essentially it. We're basically using a free trial for one month to kind of mask how the signup fee looks like in the cart and checkout with the custom price drain plugin. And then, you know, able to charge the full recurring amount. Now there's other ways you can do this if you align, if you synchronize renewals and the thing with this is that you have to always do it like the first of the month for all your subscriptions. But that's another way you can get around this if you synchronize the renewals, but they all have to be like the first of the month and then you charge the full signup fee and there's more options that you can use. Um, but for this example, I just wanted to show how if you weren't using synchronization and you just wanted to um, charge the full product price when upgrading and we're able to do that with a free trial with a subscription that the customer doesn't necessarily um, see when going through this process on the checkout. So that's it for today, guys. If you guys got value out of this video, make sure to give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment if this was helpful. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.